please tell. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. We shall now bless our Advent wreath. Lord our God, we praise you for your Son, Jesus Christ. He is Emmanuel, the hope of the peoples. He is the wisdom that teaches and guides us. He is the Savior of every nation. Lord God, let your blessing come upon us as we light the candles of this wreath. May the wreath and its light be a sign of Christ's promise to bring us salvation. May he come quickly and not delay. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Father, as we begin our Advent pilgrimage, we light a candle of hope. Grant us the courage to hope. Hope for your presence. Hope for your peace hope of for your promise. Let us pray. Grant your faithful, we pray, Almighty God, the resolve to run forth to meet your Christ with righteous deeds at his coming, so that gathered at his right hand, they may be worthy to possess the heavenly kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Advent is like a pearl pilgrimage to the house of the Lord. Today, the prophet Isaiah invites us to undertake such a pilgrimage that we may learn from the Lord His ways of peace and fruitful collaboration to give two gifts that we need so badly nowadays. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. This is what Isaiah, son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. In days to come, the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established as the highest mountain and raised above the hills. All nations shall stream toward it. Many peoples shall come and say, Come. Let us climb the Lord's mountain to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may instruct us in his ways, and we may walk in his paths. For from Zion shall go forth instruction, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between the nations, and impose terms on many peoples. They shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. 
One nation shall not raise the sword against another, nor shall they train for war again. O house of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us all be rejoicing to the I rejoice because they said to me, We will go up to the house of the Lord. And now we have set foot within your gates, O Jerusalem. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Jerusalem built as a city with compact unity to read the tribes go up the tribes of the Lord Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord According to the decree for Israel to give thanks to the name of the Lord in it are set up judgment seats, seats for the house of David. Let us be rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May those who love you prosper. May peace be within your walls. Prosperity in your buildings. Let us rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Because of my brothers and friends, I will say, Peace be within you. Because of the house of the Lord our God, I will pray for your good. Let us all rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Advent is an invitation to leave behind the darkness of sin. Encouraged by the words of the Apostle Paul, we should move confidently into the brightness of God's grace and service. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, you know the time. It is the hour now for you to awake from sleep. For our salvation is nearer now than we first believed. The night is advanced. The day is at hand. Let us then throw off the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. Let us conduct ourselves properly as in the day, not in orgies and drunkenness, not in promiscuity and lust, not in rivalry and jealousy, but put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the desires of the flesh. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Show us, Lord, your love and grant us your salvation. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As it was in the days of Noah, so it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. In those days before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, up to the day that Noah entered the ark. They do not know, did not know until the flood came and carried them all away. So will it be also at the coming of the Son of Man. Two men will be out in the field, one will be taken and one will be left. Two women will be grinding at the mill, one will be taken and one will be left. Therefore stay awake, for you do not know on which day your Lord will come. Be sure of this, if the master of the house had known the hour of night when the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake and not let his house be broken into. So too, you also must be prepared, for at an hour you do not expect the Son of Man will come. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Sa tuwing pong may darating tayong bisita, tayo po ay kadalasang naghahanda ng mabuti. Lalong-lalo na po tayong mga Pilipino, we are known for our hospitality. Na tayo po ay magaling bilang mapagpatuloy na tao. Kaya po pag tayo po ay may bisita, lilinisin ang buong sulok ng tahanan. Ilalabas ang mga pasosyal na plato at kubiertos, ihahanda ang mga espesyal na pagkain na ipapatikim natin sa ating mga bisita, ihahanda ang bes at kakatayin ang native na manok para sa masarap na tinola. The best tayong mga Pilipino pagdating sa paghahanda para sa ating mga bisita. Mga kapatid, inuumpisan natin ang bagong taon sa ating simbahan. Bagong taon sa kalendaryo ng ating simbahan sa pagdiriwang natin ng unang linggo ng Adviento o pagdating ng ating Panginoon. Ang salitang Advent ay hango po sa Latin word na Adventus na ang ibig sabihin ay coming o pagdating. Inihikayat tayo ng simbahan ngayong panahon ng Adviento na maghanda, hindi lamang sa iisang pagdating, pero tatlong klaseng pagdating ang ating pong titignan at paghahandaan ngayong panahon ng Adviento. Ang unang pagdating ay ang ating paggunita o pag-alala sa pagkakatawang tao ng Panginoon o tinatawag natin sa teolohiya the incarnation of God. When Christ, the Word of God, became like us except sin. O yung tinatawag natin ngayon na Christmas. Yan po yung unang pagdating na ating pinaghahanda at ginugunita. Ang ikalawa pong pagdating na ating pinaghahandaan ay yung araw-araw na pagdating ng Diyos sa buhay natin. Sa Kanyang mga salita, sa mga sakramentong tinatanggap natin, lalong-lalo na po ang banal na misa o Eucharistia. It is the coming of the Lord or Jesus, our Lord, comes every day in our life, especially when we receive His body in the Holy Mass. At ang ikatlong pagdating na ating pong pinaghahandaan ay yung muling pagdating ng Diyos, the second coming, or in theology, we call this the parousia. Surprisingly, brothers and sisters, our first Sunday of Advent direct our attention not on the first coming, 
not on Christmas, but our readings on the first Sunday of Advent direct us, direct our attention to the second coming or the third coming na sinasabi po natin the parousia. Yan po yung ating pinaghahandaan na tinitignan po ng ating mga pagbasa. And why is this so? Hindi po ba Christmas ang susunod dito? Why is it our readings direct our attention to the final coming, to the second coming, or yung third preparation na binabanggit po natin? The simple reason, brothers and sisters, Christmas is an event that prepares us for the final coming, for the end of the world na tinatawag po natin. Kaya po ang paghahanda ay hindi lamang sa panlabas. Ang tono ng ating mga pagdiriwang ngayon at ang tawag ay maging gising at handa sa pagdating ng Panginoon. At ang paghahanda po natin ay hindi lamang panlabas, gaya ng paglalagay ng mga dekorasyon para sa Christmas, paghahanda ng mga regalo, o kaya naman pagkakaroon ng sari-saring Christmas parties. Ngunit ang minanais ko ng Panginoon na paghahanda ay ang paghahanda ng ating kalooban sa kanyang pagdating. Sa ating tumibanghelyo ngayon, ipinapakita ng Diyos na wala pong nakakaalam kung kailan nga ba ang muling pagbabalik ng Panginoon o yung tinatawag nating end of the world o kaya naman the parousia, the second coming. At kung wala pong nakakaalam, gumamit po ng dalawang imahe ang Diyos. Sabi dito sa Ibanghelyo, gaya ng baha na dumating habang ang lahat ay nagpapakasasa sa sarap ng buhay pero hindi nila alam dumating na ang paglilinis, ang baha na sumira sa lahat ng nilika ng Diyos. Ang ikalawang imahe na ginamit ng Panginoon, ang muling pagbabalik daw ay gaya ng isang magnanakaw sa gabi. Hindi natin alam kung kailan darating ang magnanakaw. Kaya dapat lagi tayong gising at laging handa. At para patunayan nito, ang Panginoon ay muling gumamit ng dalawang imahe sa ating Ibanghelyo ngayon. Sabi dito, two men are, are in the field. One will be taken and one will be left. And the other image was, is, two women will be grinding at the mill. One will be taken and one will be left. Ano pong pinapakita ng mga imaheng ito? Brothers and sisters, pinapakita po dito, some are prepared for the coming of the Lord, but some are not really prepared or not preparing at all for the coming of the Lord. And so, as we begin our Advent pilgrimage, our journey towards Christmas, our concern should not be on the time of the second coming, When will this be? When will this happen? But our concern is how should we prepare? Paano natin ihahanda ang ating sarili sa pagdating ng Diyos? Paano nga ba our first reading and second reading to today give us the answer? Ano pong sabi ng ating first reading today? The last sentence, Let us walk in the light of the Lord. Our second reading today tells us, Let us then throw off the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. Let us conduct ourselves properly as in the day. Iisa lamang po ang punto ng unang pagbasa at ikalawang pagbasa kung paano po tayo maghahanda sa pagdating ng Panginoon. At ang advice mo nila ay ang pag-aalis ng maling pag-uugali at ang linisin ang ating puso. And so, the Advent journey is concerned on preparing our hearts, our souls for the coming of the Lord. We are not concerned on the external but on the internal preparation sa pagdating ng Panginoon. Let us put it in a concrete way. Aanihin mo ang magandang pagmumuka. Flawless ka nga. Ang bango-bango mo nga. Ang ganda-ganda mo nga. 
ang gwapo-gwapo mo nga, pero ang pangit naman ng pag-uugali mo. Kapag po pangit ang pag-uugali, kahit ano pang gawin natin sa panglabas natin, pangit pa rin tayo. Nakakaya nga yung iba, pulbo ng pulbo, gusto lang pumuti ang kanilang muka. Minsan, pagtingin mo sa kanila, sa sobrang puti ng kanilang muka, parang naglalakad na espasol. Yung iba, kulang yung preparation, paganda ng paganda, kung ano-ano ang linalagay sa muka, para lamang maging kaaya-aya, ang puti ng muka, pero ang itim ng liig, ang tawag daw doon, si bra. Brothers and sisters, our Advent preparation is concerned on the internal cleansing na is ng Diyos na maglinis tayo ng kalooban, tanggalin ang pangit na pag-uugali, kung maldita ka, tanggalin mo yan, kung marites ka, iwas-iwasan mo na ang pagchichismis, at punuin natin ang ating buhay sa paggawa ng mabuti o ng malinis na gawain. Yan po ang, tin ang tawa ng ating apat na linggo na paghahanda ngayong panahon ng Adviento. Sinindihan po natin ang unang kandila ng Advent Creed. Ito po ay hindi lamang dekorasyon, pero pagpapaalala sa atin na ngayong Advent season, sana po maging gising ang pananampalatayan natin at maging handa tayo sa muling pagbabalik ng Diyos. Amen. Let us all stand and profess our faith. I believe in one God. The Father of heaven and earth. Of all, of all things, things visible, visible and invisible, and invisible I, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, Christ the, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through Him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven. And by, by the, the Holy Spirit, Spirit was incarnated of the Virgin Mary and became mine. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As we begin this new liturgical year, let us entrust all our intentions and needs to our loving God. <clears throat> For He alone knows what is beneficial to us. With confidence, let us pray, Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For the Church, the community of all believers, may she rediscover the richness of the Eucharist and find in it greater unity and strength. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. For the Holy Father, our Bishop, Priests, and all religions, may they be evermore an inspiration to all on how to be always ready to welcome Jesus in our hearts. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. For all parents and educators, may they teach their children and students how to see Jesus present in their neighbor and welcome him in them. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. For all of us and the rest of our community, in this Advent, may we attain a clear improvement in our spiritual lives. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. Let us pray for our personal intentions.
Let us pray. Lord, and graciously hear us. Lord God, we thank you for the gift of this new liturgical year. May we be able to avail of every opportunity to draw ever closer to you, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, we pray, O Lord, the offerings we make, gathered from among your gifts to us, and may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the price of eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For He assumed that His first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when He comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that coming may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hold. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Oh, 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirits upon them like the dew pond, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. John Paul II and St. John Marie Vianney, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say,
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray. For even now as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Before I give the final blessing, I would like to express my gratitude.
to the following. Thank you to the members of the choir, our commentator, lector, EMDCs, and to all of you who join us in celebration. Maraming maraming salamat po. Bring home God's message and blessing to your respective families. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty and merciful God, by whose grace, you have placed your faith in the first coming of His only begotten Son and yearn for His coming again, sanctify you by the radiance of Christ's advent and enrich you with His blessing. Amen. As you run the race of this present life, may He make you firm in faith, joyful in hope, and active in charity. Amen. So that rejoicing now with devotion at the Redeemer's coming in the flesh, you may be endowed with the rich reward of eternal life when He comes again in majesty. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come Amen. down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go, your mission begins. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health. Through the intercession, of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Yung pong may mga dalang rosaries and other religious articles. Let us pray. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.